Hello. Hello. Today we shall be checking how many lakhs we should use while running while running uh, while running var model or VECM model or Johansen test of cointegrations right and here we have four variables four variables right and the and the variables are here variables are here okay so the variables are here you can see one is uh, you can see the variables so the so so the data I have taken monthly data the first variable is BBR BSR IBR and PBR right so these are my all variables all the data right so these are the data I have you can see the data right okay So this is my data and you can see the so we have 350 data so far right 350 month right because the data is a monthly data right so 350 month so from here we shall decide how many lakhs we should choose to run VAR model or VECM model or Johansen test of cointegrations. Okay, so I proceed. So, uh, so I, I, I go to statistics. Okay, I go to statistics. Then I go to multivariate time series then okay then first I, I choose var test right and I choose lag order selection pre estimation that I choose first right so I select here click here okay and here here I I take all the variables BBR, BSR, IBR, and PBR, right? Then here, maximum lag order, suppose I put 8, right? Then I take the time settings. Okay, here I choose the month, right? And here I put the month, select month, then okay then we are set right then I press ok ok so the it, it is coming gradually so actually the outcome is here right the lax selection criteria ok actually here are many criteria one is LR, one is FPE, one is AIC criteria, then HQIC criteria, SBIC criteria. Okay, and here is the number of lag, right? From lag 0 to lag 8, 
and these four are our endogenous variables and you can see the star star means the star means there is a one star here is one star here is a one star and here is a one star and here is a one star right so this this star means actually suppose i take this criteria a, a this criteria which is lr so here actually we should select 6 lakh to run var or vcm or johnson co-integration test but 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 when i choose the fpe criteria then the star is here meaning that i should choose one lakh and when i choose the aic criteria i should choose here meaning that lag one and and when i choose hqic criteria then star is here right meaning that i should use one lakh and when i choose the sbic lax selection criteria then star is here meaning that lag one i should choose okay actually here in a here in in case of aic lower the value better the model all the time so here you can see so these are the values but this one is the lowest and that is why uh, that is why this one has been chosen because lower the value better the model all the time and here is also so here uh, here you can see so this one is the lowest value so meaning that minus 24.3091 is the lowest right from here it is the lowest and that is why this criteria has chosen lag one and also here SBIC criteria the lower the value better the model so here so here you can see minus 24.1742 is the lowest so that is why uh, one lag has been chosen okay okay now the question is that actually here is a one star 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 and here is a one star right so now the question is that uh, sh should we choose lag six should we choose lag six or lag one right so that is the question is here but and 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 but, but the thing is that uh, four criteria four criteria are suggesting right you see there are four criteria this one this one this one and this one four criteria are suggesting to choose 
lag one right and only one criteria that is lr she is uh, she is telling she is telling to select lag six right but here majority must be granted majority must be granted so here we shall select lag one to run either var model or johansen test of cointegration or vector error correction model because all this model actually are system equation model all this model are actually system equation model you can see all these models are system equation model so we can use lag one for all these models right that means number of lags number of lags to be used is one okay and also if you go to okay okay if you go to statistics right if you go to statistics and multivariate time series okay so l l l uh, last time uh, we select here var now i am selecting vec test right and i am selling i am selecting lag order selection statistics which is pre estimation and I also check here what happens and uh, you see the uh, maximum lag order I select 8 time settings also the things so the thing is that every uh, so uh, everything is unchanged as it is right everything is unchanged as it is so then i am ready then i press okay so the result is coming up you can see from here okay you can see the first one so this one actually I chose var right and the second one which is this one this one I chose VEC meaning that vector error correction model right and here you can see both are giving me the same result uh, you see here so here you can see the lag lag one has been uh, selected by four criteria such as ap aic hqic spic and here also you can see uh, here is also star right here is star 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 and also here is star right but here you can see the lag one has been has been asked to select why because four criteria are telling the same thing that lag one is the most optimum lag to be used and you can see one thing actually both are actually <laughs> actually the same result you can see here 
4 1 on 0 4 2 and here is also 4 1 on 0 4 2 and you see here this is minus 22.65 and here is also minus 22.6576 okay and here they are giving the same result because both models are the both models are the system equation model like like Johansen test of cointegration okay so the thing is that what is our decision that the 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 outcome is we shall use one lag right to run var vsm and johansen test of cointegration thank you very much for being with me for a while